paint two out of the six I had. So let's see if I can do something with that. I have two and a half minutes left. So again, I'm going to stick with a grassy type theme. What I didn't say is I'm doing the painting in my mixed media room and then I'm going to stop the camera and I'm going to head to my other craft room to continue. So again, breaking the rules slightly, but it kind of worked for me because I already had the paint set up out here. So Okay, so I'm happy with the way that's looking. And I'm going to go for yellow I think where else do I want a flower They don't have to be perfect flowers. It's just an indication that there's a flower there for me. And I want some white. Sort of painting like I was three again, but that's okay. <laughs> And there is my timer. So that's it. We have done. Oops. We have done six pieces in our allocated time. And I actually really love them, which is surprising because I didn't think I would. <laughs> so I'm going to stop the camera. I do need to make a phone call and get back in touch with the person that I hung up on and we will come back and we will decorate these so that was actually lots of fun okay I'll see you in the next part of the video don't go anywhere I'll be right back okay so I'm back in my other craft room I have my timer ready to my right and it is set on 25 minutes so I've spent 20 minutes painting these and I'm going to spend 25 minutes embellishing them I'm not going to ink around them I'm going to reserve the right to ink and sew outside of the challenge time but i will ink my ephemera as i go so hitting the timer now and i'm going to lay these out i actually really love the way they look i will tell you i had some spares as backups and a plan b <laughs> in case i didn't like them so i have here art vintages purple flowers three and with the purple ones, I'm wondering whether I actually like that on there. Okay. Not sure if that's too, kind of works. This particular kit I have used and used and used. I love this kit. That's kind of washed away, so that tells me I need something that's got a little bit more colour. It's kind of pretty. I don't mind that. Just 
Just looking at the greens as well. Maybe that one. No. Don't mind that. I feel like this could be a winner. I like that, I think. So I'm going to use those two. And I have my fabric here. I'm wondering if I want a little lace behind. No, maybe some cheesecloth. I did like the lace, but the lace kind of takes away from my amazing painting skills. <laughs> Might use that for layering a little bit. Okay, and scissors. Everything is out of place at the moment because I've been fussy cutting, so I've moved everything around in here. I want that down here. I'm actually wondering if I may even pop that one off center and attach as a little tuck spot, I think. So maybe I might pop that on the bottom and stitch around is what I'm thinking so I need to ink this and I will ink that corner because it's easier to do that now than once things are attached Okay, so my art glitter glue is where? <laughs> Here we go. If I can get the pin out. Goodness me, that was really stuck in there. Okay, so across the bottom... And up one side. And locking that in. And then where did my little piece of lace go? Here we go. I feel like I'd like a piece right across the bottom. Have this lace here. I think I'm just going to use that. And oops, I do want to add some ink here. So this could actually be a journaling card, but it could also be a pocket or a tuck which I'm okay with. And and I will ink around that and I'm actually going to call that done. It's very different, very, very different indeed. But I do like it. Okay. I haven't even got... <laughs> I've just realised my, my sewing machine isn't even where it usually goes. So I love that. I have here Junk With Steph's Eclectic Ephemera. 
I'm just looking for a couple of pieces to layer with this one, I think. So these, I'm guessing, are two to a page. They could be three to a page. I like that there. Loving that. Do I want? I, don't, I think I might want some of this behind. I think I think that's what I'm going to do so I do need to ink this one first so yes I did I made double the amount of cards or made sure I had double the amount here and there to my left here and decided that if my plan A didn't work I was going to have a plan B so as I said I'm not a painter so all I can remember about doing the painting on these is giggling it was lots of fun I would love to have another play with the idea and take my time a bit more which I may do off camera actually just just for fun the whole idea of it did kind of become quite daunting though because I just I had no idea how it would go <laughs> feeling like a three-year-old again with a paintbrush okay so I'm going to pop that down about there hours and hours of painting I spent on that I'm not sure where my card is that I use no I probably buried it somewhere Okay, that's not too bad. I'm going to pop this one down in the corner. I will sew around these off camera. I think it will add that, like I've said, the icing on the cake. I want that up a bit more. Bring this one first. Okay. And last but not least, on there. Oops, I'm just going to trim off. A little of that. 
Okay. <laughs> I really love them. It's so different to anything I've done before, but that's really fun. Okay, so that goes in my sewing pile. Now. What am I thinking? So I have here Junk with Def Eclectic Ephemera. And... I do like that. Just wondering if I like it as much as. Oops, upside down. It's kind of fun. Let's notice this one too. Not sure about the orange. Kind of fun on there. I like that colouring, but it's so big it takes up so much of the background. I'm not sure that they're working for me. I'm considering those two, but I'm not sure about those two. So what else do I have? So Junk with Steph Terrific Tags Volume 1. Kind of like those layered together. Well, that's kind of fun. Um, I'm thinking I might... Oops. Sorry, just trying to get my hole punch for the top of my tag and it was in my drawer but I had something on top of my drawer. Okay. So I like that there and I'm wondering if... I have junk with Steph. This is one of the butterfly kits, so the Fussy Cut Collections Butterflies version one. Oh, I don't mind that. Or do I want a little pop of colour? No. No. Maybe. Mm, no, I think I still like. I think I'll go with the first choice. Okay. Sorry, I'm just looking to see what I have. So these are Junk with Steph's Fussy Cut Flowers, I think, yes, Fussy Cut Flowers. So I'm wondering about this one over here. Well, that's kind of sweet. It's very simple. Cut that off slightly. Just deciding whether I, I want a pop of colour or whether I like it more in the neutrals. I, I do like that. What about this one here? Oops. Hmm. 
Mm, the greens aren't necessarily working for me with that. I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay. So I'm going to lock those in. Where did my ink pad go? I really am all over the shop, aren't I? I'm getting excited because last last week's challenge I only managed to complete two tags and so far, well, I'm on to number three. That being said, yes, I did kind of stretch the rules a little bit to suit my needs. My I needed playtime. Um but it's it's so fun to just play and to do something completely out of my comfort zone because it really really is but i really am enjoying it i picked the fiddliest flower to ink <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to ink around very quickly. How am I going for time? Well, I probably need to lock this one in before I ink the next. So, kind of want this to one side. And I'm going to lay this down to add the glue. Sorry guys, I'm on a time frame. I'm trying to get this done as quickly as I can. Oops. Okay. I knew I'd have excess glue. I'm just going to trim off a tiny bit at the end. Now, do I want... Oh gosh, that pin's really hard to get in there. I do like that there. For no particular reason other than it softens the area for me. And maybe a number label. Oh, I moved them. That was silly of me, wasn't it? Okay, so I have number labels from Artsology and kind of blends.
I like that. Okay. Just wondering if I want a tiny piece of cheesecloth under there, so just kind of balances it out for me. Okay, so I'm calling that one done. And it goes in the sewing pile. And I need to ink. Time is going. I'm on. I'm just over two minutes, so I'm trying to push through to get this one finished. I'm hoping I can. We'll call that good. And then Oops, I did consider putting some ribbon or something in the top of that tag, but I haven't done that, so whoops. Never mind. I'm going to pop that one there. Got glue on my fingers. And having my butterfly. say there oh, and there's our timer so technically I didn't quite finish this one but I didn't want this all the way across for some reason I liked the Actually, I know why. So I'll probably add a number to that, I think, or something. Something. It needs something. Or maybe a word. What do I have? So words with Steph, I have, oh sorry, junk with Steph, I have words by Steph. Just looking to see what I have here. Memories, I like that. I'm wondering if I'd like a lighter coloured label. So these are called word labels by junk with Steph. Oh, carefree, isn't that fun? I think I'm going to lock that label in there. 
So technically I finished three in this week's challenge, which is one up. I have cut into that tag, but never mind. Um, one more than I did last week, so I'm happy with that. I kind of bent the rules a little bit, but I think I'm repeating myself now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, it's been very, very fun. And I think I may continue okay I really love that I think I'm hoping the stitching will add enough detail at the top there I kind of feel like it needs something but the stitching may be all it needs so I might I've got two left my two pockets so I might pop the timer on for 10 minutes and see how I go. So we're off. Off and running. What do I have here? I have Junk with Steph adds with age. Just wondering if there's something. I like that. Well, that's kind of fun. I'm wondering about maybe some sort of landscape image. So I have Art Vintage's Prank Cards Landscape here. There might be a bit. Oh, there's more green in these. Oh, I don't mind that. That's still the winner for me. Don't mind that either. Or that. <laughs> I kind of look at the grass and I think rolling hills. You know, the breeze through the grasses. Looking for the more green toned images. I don't mind that actually. I like the contrast of that more negative space around the outside. Oh, that's really pretty too with the bluer. No, that doesn't work for me as well. Well, those two have a little pop of colour, which is fun. I'm steering towards that because of that purple. I love that. Okay. So they are Art Vintage's Prank Cards Landscape. So I'm second guessing this one now. Just this image. And I'm wondering if I have... So this is from Art Vintages, I think it's the Roses 10 by the look of it. Um, this one's really pretty too. I think I can turn that around. No. Hmm. Not sure. Well, that's pretty. The colours are really pretty together. So that's from the same kit, the Roses 10 from Art Vintages. And I'm going to ink...
I'm inking and thinking because I'm trying to decide if and what I want to layer with. Again, this could be a journaling card or a pocket. I have backed it with tea stained paper, so it could be a landscape journaling card, which is always fun. And I don't think I really have any of those in my ephemera stash at the moment. So, whoops, a day. Here I said I was going to reserve the right to ink. Well, I guess I'm actually outside of the timer, but. Turned out most of my inking was done during the timer, I think. Which is okay. I, I'm i just excited that they actually look okay. I wouldn't say that they're works of art, but they look, <laughs> they look okay. Oh my gosh. The things we do. Okay, so I'm sorry I have a... I need to swap my brush over, I think. Okay, I'm kind of wondering about a bit of calico on here. I know it's my go-to. Hmm, I like that, but it's taking away too much hmm I'm like if my image was a little bit bigger or what about this just trying to work out which way around this scrap goes I'm liking that and I'm thinking maybe just a little snippet of this over the top. I'm going to lock that in and I will sew around it. And I do think I would like to get my fabric glue. It just goes to show it doesn't always pay to clean up because I've actually put my glues away and now I'm looking for them because I, I, they're not accessible. They're not right next to my craft mat where they usually are. It's making me question whether it's worth packing up. <laughs> Clearly it eats into my crafting time. Okay, so my glue, my fabric glue is on the thicker side at the moment. And my timer, my 10 minutes is almost up and that's okay. I'm hoping I can finish the other one in about five minutes and then I'm thinking that I should be within, oh, there it goes, I should be within my hour hopefully of this video okay I really love that I'm trying to decide if I need a label or anything but I don't think I want to or do I just want a number maybe I don't like that green no I don't on me I feel like I could use a darker 
Oh, the number 10 is jumping out at me. It's quickly followed by the number 3. Yes, I think I'll pop that there. That just offers a balance for me. Always with the excess glue. My art glitter glue is just on the runnier side. It's still working, but it is a little bit runnier than it should be. So I find I end up with seepage. Did I just swap those over? No, I don't think I did. I don't know. No, my black one goes in here. Okay. So I'm going to call that one done and I will sew around that one. And I have this last one. I feel like it could use... That's really delicate. Oh, I do like that across there. Okay. So do I want... maybe a little lace behind we could potentially take it just going to cut out I don't want a large border or anything around it it's a little odd for me to put a landscape focal point onto uh, sorry a portrait focal point onto a landscape pocket I don't mind that I'm going to call that good so I'm going to use the fabric glue for this one Oh, and I need to wait for it to come down. Sorry, guys. Covering up my Picasso moments. And I'm going to run, whoops, <laughs> my fingers are really, really sticky. So this will have stitching on it to hold it as well. I need you to come away, please. <laughs> it reminds me of a puppet. Okay. I was like, dance, pin, dance. Oh, I actually think that's really pretty. It's amazing how a little, a little lace can soften things, isn't it? Okay, so I'm calling that challenge done. That is my week two. Now I've lost my pin. Here it is. Just chilling out. Okay. It, it's amazing how a challenge can take you completely out of your comfort zone. And yet I'm really tickled with the results. So I will just bring our pieces back over. And spread 
them out so that you can see. I will sew around these. And I'm calling that week two of Roxy's Weekly Challenge done and dusted. Rachel, thank you so, so much for offering the challenge to others because, like I said, it's completely pushing me out of my comfort zone, but I'm really, really loving it. And it's just fun to do something a little bit different and to experiment with things. And so I'm excited and nervous about next week's challenge, but bring it. I'm ready. So... A huge thank you to you all for watching. I hope you've had a little giggle with me along the way. I know I've certainly giggled a lot through this week's challenge. So I look forward to seeing you all soon, everybody. Please stay safe, stay inspired and happy crafting. I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.